So yo, what's up guys? In today's video, yes, we got some more uh, Evolving Skies and, and this time, as you can see right here, we've got the Building Battle Kits. If you don't know, this is what a case of Building Battle Kits look like. We have 10 in total and we're going to be opening them all on this channel. So guys, make sure to like and subscribe. We're going crazy on the early content. Our booster box opening yesterday is on 10,000 views. Legit for me, I'm a, like a small creator, that's crazy. In one day, 10,000 views. So shout out to all of you guys, new subscribers, old subscribers, everyone that's been here since day one. Appreciate all the love and support. So, yes, Evolving Skies. If you don't know, we get every single release early. So yes, Evolving Skies is releasing 27th of August. And of course, we got it two weeks ahead of release. But this is the Building Battle Kits, which released today actually. And yeah, I got a whole case of them. I didn't pay retail, I paid over retail, and I didn't get the extra packs. So, before anyone starts hating in the comments, let's get into this. There we go. And yeah, cracking it. I was thinking to keep this for the sealed collection because look at this artwork here. I've already opened it now, but look at that. That looks insane. But I might just buy one of the stadium boxes from America. If you don't know, these stadium pre release boxes are American exclusive. So, we might buy one of those. And get it for the sealed collection. Well, this Rayquaza artwork here is just amazing. But come on, let's pop this open. And just like that, there are 10 pre release kits here. Uh, so, boom, let's take one out for you. And there we go. That is a bit pre release kit inside each one. You get a little small pack with a promo and 23 cards inside that pack. And then you also get one. Of four promo cards which we've got 10 here let's see if we can get every single promo card so we can show you guys and then yeah guys make sure to stay tuned because we're gonna crack all these right now so guys like subscribe and I'll see you in a second so boom guys as you can see 10 kits right here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna open one at a time usually I open them all in the beginning but I think it's better that we do one at a time so what I'm gonna do is put that a little bit out of frame and there we go here's the box here's a nice detailed look at these boxes from our opening area or what would you call this place an opening station that's what i kind of call it all right boom let's go in there now and yeah i bought these to keep sealed because uh obviously i paid over retail and i'm thinking the artwork is incredible insanely hard to get now the lockdown restrictions are over um it's hard to get these because everyone's doing a tournament for them so before you can get them shipped to your house etc but i kind of see what we got here can you guys see what's the first promo Yes, we got a Falafi. So I know there's a few Ampharos and Falafi fans in the Discord. So there we go. We've got a sealed one here. We're, gonna, we're not going to open these. I'm probably going to sell them sealed. I'll probably keep uh, the birds uh, for my personal collection. But Falafi, not too fussed on. So you guys can have that one. And then boom. Four booster packs. So yeah, let's go. So this one obviously just has like the... Tells you a little bit about the set. And then building a deck tips. As well as a set list on the back so there are like all the secrets and full art so on that side but just a quick look at that you can pause it if you want to these deck boxes i did throw the last ones away in the bin these you have to keep them right the artwork is incredible you can't you can't go wrong i just think i might have to stack them all up or something so guys let me know what you want me to do with these artworks Should i put them on ebay for like three quid or something let me know but let's get into this opening go on we got 20 uh 20 40 booster packs today so five and yeah i might split this into two parts so uh five boxes in each video so then we can do a saturday and sunday video um so today so today we can do friday um five pre-release kits tomorrow tomorrow another five and then on sunday a whole booster box once again because we did one yesterday and you got 10,000 views so shout out to everyone for that that isn't crazy i thought i'd get 2,000 if i'm lucky but ooh, garbador v i've not even seen these like i said not open a japanese um towering perfections i have opened skystream and ev heroes uh but i'm still waiting for my towering perfection boxes to come from japan hence why i haven't opened it but garbador v will take it we'll see how many hits up our pre-release kit that's one thing we can find out in today's video so let's see what we can get here. We've got Pyro, Dream Ball, Stormy Mountain. Yo, go check out the booster box opening if you want to see some Stormy Mountains. But yeah, Lit Leo, Eevee with the Rayquaza art here. Really, really nice. Moon and Sun Badge. Isn't this the wrong set? I was about to say Sun and Moon, but it's Moon and Sun. 
Oh, this is for Espion and Umbreon, whatever it is. But, ooh, Ludicolo, holler, right? How cool does that look? For some Ludicolo plushes. We got loads of fit plushes coming to the website very soon. So, if you guys want to stay tuned for that, make sure to stay tuned. But, come on, let's go. Oh, I see something here. I see something. Can you see something? I've opened so much now. I can tell by the sides, like, if there's going to be a hit and stuff now. Well, I try not to mention that, but... Um, I can tell when I'm open open the pack. I know there's gonna be something in there, but Zora Aura, Pranagada Ghoul, I can't pronounce some of these. Bug, my lucky ice pop, and a Sylveon V. So, not too bad. Two Vs in one pre release kit. So, what do you reckon, guys? Really good. All right, let's get into the next one. Boom. Four there. And yeah, let's see what we got here. Palpito, Shopping Center. Uh, Herdia, Dino, Pumpkaboo, Kavana, Gossifleur, Fletchling, ooh, Eevee in reverse, now this one, if you love Rayquaza and Eevee, this card is one to keep, if you find it in reverse form, definitely keep it, we've got Sharpedo there, so yeah, this one I'm going to sleeve up, I'm going to stick it in the binder, just because of that Rayquaza appearance in the background, as well as being an Eevee card, it's pretty cool, let me know if you're doing the same, if you manage to pull this card right here, uh, but boom, pre-release kit one done now on to second one guys this is a clock this is crazy two weeks before release we get a look at evolving skies let me know down in the comments what have you ordered have you ordered the etb the maybe bought pre-release kits on ebay or from your local game store we had some stores on our discord we, if you don't know you can join our youtube membership to get access to our private discord where you post links to restocks and releases we posted stores shipping these out you didn't have to go to a tournament back in june you can pre-order it then and you can open these at home most stores like i said are doing tournaments however some stores did uh, release them to ship and those are um those are shipped and lots of members in the discord managed to cut but let's see what we got here oh galarian articuno look at the artwork that looks a little bit better wow nice one there we've got zorok in the back we'll put that button down but articuno let me know should i give you a closer look like this half yeah i should have done that so you can have a look at the hollow better I need to do that more often. I think that gives you a good look at the cards. But yeah, box number two, guys. Let's get into this. Boom. So yeah, let me make sure to subscribe. Part two tomorrow. So part one now, part two. Obviously, I'll give you that heads up now. But for left, what the hell was this artwork? It looks like it's huge. I had a very small or very huge. I think it looks huge there. But Pyro, um, Scroll, Bagon, Wubat, Time Pulse, Psyduck. Do love the artwork of the Psyduck, Eevee again, Gigalith, and Talonflame. That's cool artwork on that one. Sometimes you got to appreciate the common rare arts, especially when it's a new set and we're seeing these for the first time. Uh, but boom, let's go. Four from the back. Oh, I got Flaffy, Brava, Bra uh, Braviary. I think Leon Hart made the met the guy that named that one. I watched that video. That was a very interesting video. Sableye, Nickit, Bergmite, Kavana, Ramon B, Lycanroc, Rainbow, Secret Rare, let's go, Rainbow Secret Rare already, wow, that's a banger, let's go, what do you reckon, are you a Lycanroc fan, let me know, feels like some textures missing on this part here, can you see it, I'm not sure if you can see it there, but Lycanroc, pretty cool, hoping we could get the Rayquaza Rainbow Rare. Maybe we'll get it eventually, but guys, let me know what you think on that one. All right, boom, let's go. Four from the back. Uh, Crustle. We got Moon Sun Badge. Toy Catcher. Hopip. Hitmonchan. Fletching. Tentacle. Pikachu. Talon Flame and ooh, a Falapel here. Alright, boom, let's go. Four from the back. I think I see something here, so let's hopefully get another. Imagine though, if we get another banger. If we're getting two hits per uh, pre release kit, that's about right in my opinion. I think there's about, there's about one to two hits per pre release kit. Uh, but yeah. Oh, wow, a Lycanroc V to go with the Rainbow Lycanroc. 
in the same pre-release kit. What do you reckon? Are you a Lycan Rock fan? Let me know down in the comments. This reminds me of the Lycan Rock in the Pokemon Snap game. You know when you go in that desert one, like that desert field? It reminds me of that location. But yes, guys, we're not doing too bad. What do you think in today's video? But, oh, there we go. All right, three, two, one. Ooh, Galarian Moltres. So let's give you a look close up there. That's cool with the logo, and then you can have all the look at all the abilities. But Galarian Moltres here. Let me know Zapdos, Articuno, or Moltres. What is your favorite? But we'll show you the Zapdos. Hopefully, we can get it today. When we did the Viv Voltage one, we had five Charizards in our pre-release kit, which was insane. All right, so into the packs. Let me know if you like this sort of video. Obviously, I don't think there's many UK creators going this hard on this set. Uh, I absolutely love this set because of the Rayquaza. I remember when Celestial Storm, uh, I always bought a load of Celestial Storm because they had that Rayquaza pack. Uh, that's back when I didn't know too much about the set. I always loved Rayquaza, so every time I seen Celestial Storm, uh, um, I always picked it up. And I actually picked up some Celestial Storm recently for retail. Posted that in my Discord. Uh, picture of my pickup that's from my locals. But Eldegoss and Falapple, one of my spots or something, hit me up and I found some Celestial Storm. So, yeah, perfect timing with Evolving Skies coming there. But yeah, uh, I mentioned we got the uh, um, we got the Rayquaza Rainbow Rare. And yeah, that card now is pretty crazy in price from Celestial Storm. Uh, which, what else we got? We got Ancient Origin Rayquaza. Obviously, the Vintage Rayquazas are quite expensive. I don't think I got too many there. Uh, but yeah, Boom Hop It. Kavana and Daraludon VMAX. Let's go. What do you think of this one? Guys, are you a fan of Daraludon? I want to know. Are you a fan? Remember this card always popping up in uh, Champion's Path. When we always pack loads of these in Champion's Path. The regular V, of course. But now he's in. He gets a VMAX form. And yeah, let's go. And he was the mascot of the Towering Perfections. Literally, this set was named after him. So. Uh, let me know if you do like him. Did you buy Towering Perfections? I know a lot of people didn't even touch that set because it wasn't. It didn't really have too many good cards. It had Sweet Coon, in my opinion. That's the only reason I, I'm buying it for because I got the, those sets coming, and that's literally the only reason I'm opening them for the Sweet Coon. Uh, but Zinnia, uh, Resolve, and Atropius, and the last one. Now, hopefully, we get a hit here because there's been two hits per so far. Uh, but boom, there's Code Card, four from the back. And let's go. Hopefully there's a banger here. What do you guys reckon? We've got Hypno, Cutie Fly, Applin, Sableye, Nickit, Bergmite, Litlia. Oh, Dialga Holore. So we'll get a Holo Rare. Well, not bad. I forgot we even got Holo Rare earlier on as well. So not doing too bad on the pull rates. Dialga Holo Rare. I do like that one. I did mention it in the booster box opening, but the one that one's going on Sunday actually. So stay tuned for that one. We got a whole booster box again going live on Sunday. So yeah, we're going hard. And putting in the work to get this product for you guys for this video. But yeah, let's try this this way. Alright. What do you guys reckon is going to be? 3, 2, 1. Oh. oh, yes. We got all, literally back to back. We got all four promo cards. So that's pretty good. All You can see all four promos in one video. So luckily. But Galarian zap those. And I do like this artwork. You see more of his face and detail here but yeah out of the birds even like the og birds zapdos was always my favorite out of the three um but yeah i think i'm team galarian zapdos we'll be keeping one of each promo um but yeah let's go let me know if you like that one there and i want to give the code cards for these i'm going to open these for my personal collection and put the cards for grading but um the code cards here i'm going to be giving away in my discord so make sure to stay tuned uh, if you play the card game, join the Discord. If you sign up to the YouTube membership, you get access to my private Discord. So yeah, you literally link your YouTube to Discord in uh, connections, and it gives you it literally gets you access straight into the Discord. And yeah, we put a lot of work. Only reason it costs money. People might be asking why do you have to pay? Because we pay for like uh, we got costs involved for running the Discord, etc., etc. A lot of time we put in as well. Um, so yeah, lots of people like we have built a great community, but oh Appleton there Come on. I'm hoping I have a lot of chase cards There's too many cards in this set that I need so I can't even name them all but my favorite I would say is the rainbow Rayquaza. I just love a rainbow chase chasing for the rainbow But I do love the rainbow Rayquaza. Then it will be the full art Rayquaza 
and I wouldn't mind the VMAX, it's going for crazy money, I have the Japanese version, so I reckon if I don't pull it in English, I'm not too fussed, because obviously I can't, I'm not going to fork out whatever it's going to be worth, currently they're going for over a thousand pounds on eBay, uh, for that Rayquaza, but Altaria here, but I think obviously pre-release prices before release prices are higher than when they come out. When they come out, the prices will drop, but I think it will settle around five to six hundred pounds for the VMAX Rayquaza alternative artwork. Uh, but even then, I wouldn't fork that sort of money out. I don't think I've ever spent more than 50 pounds on a single card. I've mentioned this many times in some videos. Uh, so yeah, definitely wouldn't be buying that one. But see that Stoutland and Wishy Washy. Wow, this pre-release kit was a bit stinky. There has to be a hit here. Has to be. That one was stinky. Come on, if there wasn't a hit here, I think you'd probably lose in the tournament, <laughs> the pre-release battle. Because uh, obviously you need to open the packs, get some cards to build your deck. So yeah, you got Lilypup, Amolga, Shellgon. Ooh, look at the reverse pattern with the Dragon NGs there. Does stand out. And an Espeon V, so nice one there. But even for like an evolution-based set, we're not pulling so many of the evolutions. Uh, maybe we've just not got that nice batch of evolutions. But... The ratios wise, it's not. I thought when we open this, like EV Heroes, obviously EV Heroes is just full of evolutions, but I thought we'd be pulling a lot more evolution stuff. But come on, I'm hoping for a full art, a secret rare, and yeah, this is gonna be the last box of this video. And then after this video, tomorrow, Saturday, we're gonna be doing box number two. So I'll say it again, guys, subscribe. But which one we got here? We got Falafi. So yeah, in case you didn't see that artwork already, beautiful Falafi there. Um, but yeah, I'm only keeping the birds. I'm not the hugest fan of Falafi, but the artwork is cool. It's a, it's a pre-release promo. It's got a nice little stamp there. So you know what I mean? But yeah, let's go. Four from the back. Come on, can we end this video with a banger? Because obviously if I did the whole case, it's going to be about 30, 40 minute video and I don't want it to be that long. Uh, I want to go I want to go sleep. Editing takes a long time as well, so hopefully you do appreciate me creating all this content. But I've got Zora Ark here. There's this one from Eevee Heroes. I think it was either from the Japanese EV Heroes or Arc here. Alright, that's a holo. Does that take a slot of our V or VMAX? Or our Seeker Air or Full Up? We've got a load of Pikachus today. Um, what should I do? I need to keep loads of Pikachus. Oh, I see something here. We'll tuck that downwards. I wonder what it's going to be. I don't want to guess it. But I think like we're going to get something good here. Come on. Amolga. Tentacle. Aroma Lady. For, I, so I knew it was going to be a VMAX and I was hoping it was going to be a Rayquaza. I didn't know it was going to be, but we do get the Rayquaza. Wow, what a way to end this opening off. We still got two more packs there, but at least we got this beauty. Uh, let's see what the centering's like because I want to keep one of these in my collection. Like I said, I prefer this VMAX than the alternative VMAX just because this posture is just look. I love Rayquaza and this just makes them look very cool. Um, centering's not too bad, left to right, maybe a little bit tap heavy. But I think overall, if you grade with PSA, it shouldn't be too bad. A little bit edgeware on that corner there. But the card like this, I don't think I'm going to be selling any. I'll be keeping every single one I pull off this Rayquaza VMAX. So, yeah, you won't be seeing any on my eBay. This card I do love a lot. The regular V, I'm not a fan of the artwork. So that one we might, we might sell doubles off. But this card, I'm going to keep every single copy that I pull. And yeah, let's see if you get that nice hollow texture you see in here. That texture pattern there, that's cool. That was same in Japanese, which I really liked. But yes, a Rayquaza there. So we'll take it, we'll take it. But two more packs left. I feel like, come on, I'm going to put some predictions. You know my predictions are pretty good. I feel like maybe, I don't know, I'm not confident. I'm not confident, I'll say that now. But I think one more hit in either of these two packs. So uh, we already pulled that Hollow Rare, which could have took the slot off a hit. But obviously you saw one pre-release pre kit only had one V. So you can always just get one hit, but yeah, we did get two hits already. I think we did get three hits with a holo rare in one of the boxes. The one with the Ludicolo, but ooh, Drampa there. And last pack, guys, come on. Ooh, that looks promising. I saw texture, messed that up, but luckily we didn't see anything. But yeah, we're gonna end this one off with a bang, come on. Hopefully it's a banger. I saw texture, I don't know if I'm guessing it, I like to guess it sometimes, just to keep you at the edge of your seats. So come on. Time Pole, Psyduck, Eevee, Cutie Fly. Alright, come on guys. Hopefully, I'm wishing for not another. I feel like it's going to be a B Max, but I would love a Full Art or a Secret. And 3, 2, 1. 
Oh, yes! Yes, I thought that took ages to pull. I don't know what happened there, but Dragonite full art. Literally, I'm pulling all the cards that I need. Dragonite full art here. Yo, let's go. What a beauty this is. This card I really, really want in my collection as well. The full art artworks, the posture of the Pokemon, everything is so cool. If, obviously, if you've seen our first video, we pulled one of the best full arts in my opinion. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it which one it is. You've got to go check it out. That video, like I said, 10,000 views in one day. So if you're watching this, go watch the other video if you haven't seen that. But yes, guys, what a banger. What a pull. Uh, what a way to end this video off. You guys saw it right here. Uh, I saw the, like the textured lines. You see that like the textured lines and you, you can just tell it's going to be something good. Uh, but guys, make sure to like and subscribe. We're going to be opening up the other five pre-release kits in the next video. I'm going to record it right now, but that video will go live tomorrow. So like, guys, like, subscribe. Don't miss out. We're going to be having tons of Evolving Skies early. So yes, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.